Hey guys, welcome back to a new Boombi video. So I am here on my level 51 account a day after or two days after I became a fully maxed out player on my main account. We have the tiny shock and I want to do something fun. I don't think I've done this before. Going to be trying to beat a bunch of players, but the only gumbo energy ability I can use is the tiny shock. Now I have no clue how well this is going to work. I feel like that's how I start out all of my sentences when I play Boom Beach, but I really have no clue what, what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start with Bombardiers or Grenadiers, but I might switch it up and bring a different troop combination next after this, but I need to drop my hero first. That is why I retreated. Now, I feel like Tiny Shock is pretty underrated compared to other, other abilities. So we're actually gonna Tiny Shock the Shock Launcher so my hero can get out in front of my other troops, Tiny Shock the other one, it's a really cheap ability, but also like really, really strong. Oh man, Holy, it's getting fried. I'm literally spending so much energy trying to keep him alive. I just need to keep him alive a little bit longer. I think we can let him die now. We're kind of off to a good start. With Bombardier, with Grenadiers, this is going to be an issue in today's video. With Grenadiers, the, the main thing you kind of want to shock are shock launchers and boom cannons. And kind of along the same lines those are really the two defenses you should be taking out with energy assuming the player doesn't have any prototypes and that's mainly because those are the the troops that can kill your bombardiers or really really hurt you you're kind of depending on your medics to heal up from rocket launchers sniper towers that sort of thing um, and we can see this went really really well i mean my medics didn't do too much my hero died insanely fast it goes to show you what a low level bullet does never is i don't think i've ever upgraded my bullet level so there's a reason why he got fried right off the gate for this account i really have to be careful though because i would love to drop down a ton of resource reward statues and just only have resource reward however if i do that i'm really limiting the the type of combinations i can attack with and i want to give you guys variety content i want to attack with bombardier or with grenadiers, scorchers, all different sorts of combinations. But if I have to remove more offensive statues to drop down resource reward statues, it's going to be really, really hard for me to take down those players that are 20 levels higher than me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I have four resource reward statues, which is pretty good, but it's not quite where I want to be. You know, I would love to be a lot higher. I'd love to have five or six resource reward that would kind of be my dream but i'm not quite there yet okay we're gonna kind of just stack on this left hand side especially when we're not using any flares we're not we can't use med kits either let's actually tiny shock one of these and we're gonna actually also tiny shock the shock launcher and I think that's it we have to be careful the reason i kind of played off to the side is i wanted to take down as many mines as possible before my troops got to that point where things started killing me i feel like most of my energy is going straight into bullet and bullets getting fried so fast he has very low hp and the truncation from damage is also super super low okay we're gonna tiny shock we're also gonna I don't know if we need to tiny shock anything else you know most of my medics are dead i kind of want to tiny shock the the shock launcher but i think we'll be fine and i don't think we should spend the energy on that right now i might need to tiny shock the rocket launcher in the back we'll see how my troops are doing oh i, I didn't realize how much energy i have yeah we'll tiny shock we'll tiny shock that and I can't drop a reflare, which really sucks. I would love to drop a reflare up to the top and just take down the base, but I can't. I can only spend energy on tiny shocks. I would also love to drop some energy right now because look at my energy right now. 46. I would love to drop barrages or artillery to take down some of those defenses. Okay, the only thing left that can hurt me is this little sniper tower, so we're just gonna tiny shock it again. Why not, guys? We have a ton of energy. We actually only have enough for one more tiny shock, but that's fine, we'll be fine. 
I really like the tiny shock, especially because you can tiny shock prototypes and it's for so long, it's for 30 seconds is at what I have at this level, which is crazy. You could take a defense out for 30 seconds and it's, in my opinion, <laughs> this is going to be a hot take, but I think it's a better ability to use than the remote hack which is like the universe remote, but a gumbo energy. And the main reason is this ability increases by like five every time or something. Universal remote or, or remote hack increases by 10, I think, or 12 energy. So really you can drop way more tiny shocks than you can drop those uh, remote hacks. So I definitely prefer to bring the tiny shock over the remote hack if I ever have the option, which I probably will never have the option, but that's just kind of how I'm how I'm sitting right now. This is what I aspire to be, you know? Seven resource reward statues. It can't get much better than that. Only three offensive statues. I mean, that's really good. And to be honest, I think I could pull that off. But I think I would need to only be using, like, Zookas or Warriors to take down players. And I just want to try f more fun combinations for videos and for you guys. So that's kind of the reason I'm not jumping aboard that boat. Otherwise, I would. You know, when I was maxing out my first Boom Beach account, this is all I had. I had, I think, eight or seven or eight resource reward statues. It was a lot. It was a lot. Which allowed me to get the record for most amount of loot in Boom Beach. There is a video out there if you want to watch that. But... Uh, can't do that anymore. And that is fine. I love this. I love playing as the underdog. On my main account, I'm higher than most people I come across. I do come across some maxed out players, but now I'm maxed, so I can't really attack anyone that's worse than me. Or, or better than me. Of course, I do come across people that have ice, but I come across people that have ice at this level too. So I don't have a good reason to attack on that account. There's not really a challenge. Where this account, there's more of a challenge. But honestly, it is getting pretty easy. It is getting pretty easy. My favorite time in Boom Beach was when I was around like level 32. Right after I got smoked, just taking down some high level players my favorite time in Boom Beach because you're kind of an underdog. You are an underdog. You're attacking players that are 20, even 30 levels higher than you at some times. And it's fun. It's fun. I like it a lot. So let's remote hack some of these defenses. I need to get off the beach and have my hero stand in front of my troops a little bit more. This sucks. This sucks. I didn't realize how trashy a low level bullet actually is. And it's insane because I really thought Bullet was this like really good hero to bring. And to be honest, like at a high level, yeah, Bullet is really good to bring. I don't know why I just Tiny Shocked that Boom Cannon when I could have Tiny Shocked this. Well, Tiny Shocked that. I don't think I'm going to win this. I mean, I do have Medics left, which can save me. But there's a lot of Rock Launchers. There's a Shock Launcher. There's a Boom Surprise. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with just these troops and I kind of have to tiny shock the, the boom surprise when it comes back otherwise I am gonna lose uh, is this sniper tower hitting me it doesn't look like it I'm just trying to take down stuff or, or take things out of the battle that will actually kill me and the boom surprise here is really the only thing left that is actively gonna kill me these guys are taking so long and taking down that mortar that really sucks I mean, there's no way we're going to be able to have enough time to even defeat this, even if I do take down the Boom Surprise. Like, I have to take down the, the Shield Generator, and I can't do that if I don't have Flares. So we're going to retreat to save time. I think this guy kind of um, was a little too tough for me to take out without using any other energy. <laughs> Definitely way too tough. Here's a level 63, which is probably harder. I don't think I can do that. Also, no loot, so why would we attack that? I'm back on my low level account. I need to attack players that have loot. I have big upgrades I actually need to do, unlike my main account where, yes, I have big upgrades, but I have way more resource reward. I get way more loot from battles. 
all of these players literally have 50,000 loot of each, which is terrible because that's the opposite of what I need right now. This guy has a lot of loot, but I'm not going to be able to take down a level 73 without dropping other gumbo energy things. Well, let's attack this player. Going straight up the middle. I am clumping my troops a lot simply because I would get fried. I would get fried if I spread them out because I have nothing. I have no reed flares. I have, I have nothing. So, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going to lose my hero. Okay. Get ready for this action. So tiny sh or shock. Shock. Oh, there goes all my medics. Can we take out the shock launchers, please? Those, are you kidding me? Okay, shock. I've lost all of my medics. This is the worst thing that could have happened. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Can we take down the boot? Oh, take this out, please. Good, good, good. Okay, the only things left that can really, really, really hurt me are the boom cannons in the back, but I think I might be out of range of those. Also, the rocket launcher to the left, which I am gonna tiny shock for the foreseeable future. I have a lot of energy, so I can tiny shock anything that comes into range. So we're gonna tiny shock the sniper tower. The cannon's fine, it'll only take down a few if they walk in range, which hopefully they don't, but if they do, we got that flank covered. Okay, some troops going up, taking down the rocket launcher. I still have a tiny shock I can drop. Probably have to drop one more on this rocket launcher. Let's just get that down a little bit early. And this is looking beautiful. I love bombardiers. And these aren't bombardiers though. These are grenadiers. Which I do love, but you know, bombardiers are just way better than grenadiers. Oh, I've been wanting to do that all video. Just a tiny shock the HQ with a bunch of extra energy. This was fun, I gotta admit. This was fun playing on my low level account attacking players that are significantly higher than me. I think the majority of players I attacked today were all level 50 though, so I am excited to go and attack some level 70s with Warriors next video. Uh, yeah, but I hope you all enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. Let's get an upgrade done. So here's where this is currently sitting. I do have a lot of laning crabs that I need to upgrade. I have that one and then I have all these level 19s and one level 18. I'm not close to those upgrades, you know, loot is hard to come by down here, so instead we're just going to upgrade a mortar because we're not even close to the experience to get to the next one where we get bombardiers, which I'm excited for. So we're just going to wait, we're going to chill it out, uh, we're going to upgrade defenses over the next few weeks, you know, I'll attack more, I'll be able to get some big upgrades done, hopefully max out all my landing crafts before the next HQ. It's always sitting in good shape, but I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Before we go though, can we upgrade him? No, he's so strong, or he's so expensive. Oh well, bye guys.